Once upon a time, in a quaint village nestled between rolling hills and lush meadows, there lived a young shepherd boy named Lucas. Lucas was a spirited lad with an adventurous heart. Entrusted with the task of tending to his village's flock of sheep, his days were spent under the vast expanse of the sky, watching over the woolly creatures as they grazed upon the tender grass. Lucas found solace in the simple rhythm of life in the countryside. With his faithful dog, Rufus, by his side, he roamed the hillsides, guiding the sheep with a gentle hand and a watchful eye. But Lucas was not without his flaws. He possessed a mischievous streak, a penchant for mischief that often led him astray. As the days passed, Lucas grew restless with the monotony of his duties. He yearned for excitement, for a tale to call his own amidst the quiet hum of village life, and so, one fateful afternoon, as the sun dipped low on the horizon, Lucas found himself seized by a mischievous idea. Rufus, he whispered to his faithful companion, let us have some fun tonight. With a gleam in his eye, Lucas concocted a plan to stir up a bit of commotion in the village. As darkness fell and the stars began to twinkle in the sky, he climbed to the top of a nearby hill, overlooking the humble cottages below with all his might. He let out a shrill cry that echoed through the valley. Wolf, wolf, he shouted, his voice carrying on the night breeze. The villagers, startled from their slumber, emerged from their homes, fear etched upon their faces. They rushed to Lucas' aid, armed with pitchforks and lanterns, ready to confront the imagined beast. But as they reached the hilltop, they found nothing but Lucas, doubled over with laughter. Fooled you, he cried, wiping tears of mirth from his eyes. There was no wolf, only me. The villagers grumbled and shook their heads, returning to their beds with a mixture of annoyance and relief. But Lucas paid them no mind, his heart dancing with the thrill of his deception. Night after night, Lucas repeated his trickery, each time crying out for help with no wolf in sight. The villagers grew weary of his antics, their patience wearing thin with each false alarm. But Lucas reveled in the attention, basking in the notoriety that his pranks brought him. Yet, as the weeks turned into months, a shadow began to creep over the village. With each false alarm, the villagers grew complacent, their trust in Lucas waning with each passing day. They began to ignore his cries, dismissing them as nothing more than the antics of a bored boy. But fate has a way of teaching lessons to those who refuse to heed its warnings one fateful evening. As Lucas tended to his flock under the fading light of the setting sun, a genuine sense of unease settled upon him. He could feel the weight of eyes upon him, a presence lurking in the darkness beyond the hills. Rufus, he whispered, his voice tinged with apprehension. Do you feel that? But Rufus only whimpered softly, his senses attuned to the impending danger. With a sinking heart, Lucas scanned the horizon, searching for any sign of the looming threat. And then, he saw it a pair of gleaming eyes, glowing like embers in the night, wolf, wolf. He cried, his voice trembling with fear, but this time, his cries fell upon deaf ears. The villagers, weary of his deceit, paid him no heed, convinced that this was yet another one of his tricks, desperate and alone. Lucas watched helplessly as the wolf descended upon his flock, its jaws snapping hungrily at the defenseless sheep. With a heavy heart, he realized the consequences of his actions. The folly of his pride laid bare before him. In the aftermath of the attack, Lucas stood amidst the scattered remains of his flock, his spirit broken and his conscience heavy with guilt. The villagers, too, bore the weight of their indifference, haunted by the knowledge that their skepticism had cost them dearly from that day forth. Lucas vowed to make amends for his mistakes, to earn back the trust of those he had betrayed. With humility in his heart and a newfound sense of responsibility, he set out to rebuild what he had lost, one sheep at a time. And though the scars of his deception would forever linger upon the village, they served as a reminder of the consequences of falsehood and the importance of trust. For in the end, it was not the wolf that posed the greatest threat to the village, 
but the boy who cried wolf. And so, amidst the tranquil beauty of the countryside, a shepherd boy learned a valuable lesson that sometimes, the greatest tales are not those spun from deceit, but those forged from honesty and integrity.